Hello everyone. So in this video, I am going to explain you how to analyze a structure. Okay. So we are going to analyze determinate structure. When we say determinate structure, that means the structure can be solved by three equations of equilibrium. For example, let us take a simply supported beam so in a simply supported beam and let's consider a point load p and the distance between the supports and the point load are shown for example it is a let's take this b as the other end and c as the center so ac is a length b is the bc length and total is length of L meter. Now when we draw the figure this beam so how many reaction it is because this is hinged or we say roll hinged or pinned support so we have two reactions here we have one reaction due to roller support so total three and we have three equations of equilibrium. So what is this? That is summation of forces, upward forces or we can say vertical forces is equal to zero, summation of horizontal forces is equal to zero and moment, summation of moment will be equal to zero. So this three equation of equilibrium, so total three number of reactions. So degree of indeterminacy is total three number of reactions. Okay unknown reactions minus 3 which which is this is number of equations 3 number of equations so it is a it is 0 that means degree of it in indeterminacy if it is greater than equal to 1 then it will be indeterminate as it is equal to 0 so it is a determinate structure so when we are solving this how what are we going to do using this three equations of equilibrium so first so this is reaction A I'll write, this is reaction B I'll write, RB. So summation of the first equation of equilibrium, this implies RA plus RB because these are up, upward forces and P is our downward forces. So this is equal to P, right? So total vertical forces is equal to 0. Now next is because you can see these are hinge or roller supports of the moment I can write moment about A is equal to 0. So using this equation moment about A means so RB if I am taking here so moment I am considering about A. So RB the reaction into the perpendicular distance this which is length L minus there is another force p which is downward that's why it will be minus because you can see the sign convention rb is upward p is downward so minus p into so p is perpendicular distance from point a is a because for a moment it is force into perpendicular distance so p into a is equal to zero okay so this is one equation this is another equation which we have solved so after this, using this equation, we can find out the reaction is equal to PA by L. So now using this, what will be RA? RA plus RB is P. So RA is equal to P minus RB is PA by L. This we have calculated now. That is P into L minus P into A by L, which is equal to P if I take common L, L minus A. So total is L minus A is PB by L. So now we have found out RA is PB by L, RA is PA by L. Right? So once you know the reaction, you can find out the shear force and bending moment diagram. Right? So for this, the shear force diagram will be RA till it goes to the distance A, then minus P. So this is PB by L, 
this distance total will be P. So this is P A by L, right? This is our shear force diagram. Coming to bending moment diagram, so the moments at the ends are zero because this is hinge, this is roller. And let's take this here, it will be the maximum moment. So what is the moment value here? So moment will be moment at point P, which is at C will be, I can take it any from any distance, like from A also I can calculate or from B. So from here, if I'm calculating, it is RA, reaction RA into distance. RA into distance is A. So RA is PB by L into A, which is PAB by L. So this is the moment here. This will be our bending moment diagram. Okay. Now, so my aim is in this video to explain you that this calculation we can also do using virtual displacement method in which we are going to apply a unit virtual displacement. So for example, now in this case, we have A and B, okay, the end moments, and we have a force B. Now I want to find out, let's find out first the reaction B. So if you want to find out the reaction B, okay, to find reaction B, apply unit displacement at B. Okay, so if you're applying a unit displacement at B, that means here I'm going to apply displacement is unit value. So this will move when you're displacing, this is unit value. Okay, so when you're displacing this point B to here, so now your diagram or the beam will be like this position, a triangle, like it moves up. So when you do like this, that means you have displaced at point B because you are going to find out at RB. If you are going to find out reaction at A, if you are going to find out the reaction at A, then you will displace a unit value at A. Okay, so if you are moving this to A, the new position of A is here. So the beam becomes like this. Right? Now, you are going to find out so the, it is like RB, the reaction at RB into here, the displacement is 1, okay, this minus because your RB is upward and your external load P is downward, so P into the displacement. When we are applying virtual displacement, that means your work done, total work done, okay is equal to zero. So work done means force into the displacement. That summation we are going to make it equal to zero. This we are going to apply. So force into displacement. RB here, force is RB into displacement is one minus P. So what is the displacement here? If this value is one, what is the displacement here? Let me take this value as del C because this is the point C, so del C. So, using similarity of triangles, similarity of triangles, that means this triangle is similar to the this triangle. So, delta C, the height delta C divided by the, the bigger triangle, delta C, which is 1. Okay, this height, this height divided by the this height is equal to the small triangle base, which is A, is by the bigger triangle base, which is L. So it is 
deflection at C is A by L. Okay. So P into A by L is equal to 0. So RB is equal to P A by L. So you can see that RB what we have found out here is same by using virtual displacement method. Now if you are calculating for RA to find RA reaction at A, you can see, so here RA is into 1, so your P is there, so what will be here displacement at C, so displacement will be delta C divided by the diff bigger triangle height then the smaller triangle because this is the triangle base okay otherwise this will become a trapezoid not this so you have to consider now this side of the triangle which is B previously we have considered triangle shape was like this so we considered the first part the base was A so B by the bigger triangle same base is length L so minus P into because the direction is different so it will be negative B by L because deflection is B by L because this is 1 so B by L into 1 which is B by L is equal to 0 because total work done is equal to 0 so RA is equal to PB by L okay so here we have found out RA is equal to PB by L so you can either calculate the shear force and bending moment diagram using virtual displacement method. So once you have calculated the reaction, you can find the shear force and bending moment diagram. Okay, so hope this video is useful for you. Thank you for watching.